know, Jason. I've seen him around for years. And didn't know. That shape a wretch like me. Was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. Thank God for His amazing grace. That is very bestows upon His children, though we've done nothing to merit it or earn salvation, He gives it to us freely. He loves us, and I'm thankful for that. I praise His name today. It's a blessed occasion. I'm glad to be here. The Bible says in Acts chapter number 8, it says, And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, and go toward the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem, unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Esaias the prophet. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Esaias and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come and sit with him. The place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shoes, so open he not his mouth. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. Who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee of whom speakest the prophet this, of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. Well, that's what it takes today, don't it? Mm -hmm. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth thou hinder me? What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Yes. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord called away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more. And he went on his way rejoicing. Yeah. That's something to rejoice about. Thank, uh -huh. Thank God I'm glad for the reading of this scripture. I'm glad that God's got a remnant on this feeble planet Earth today. The children of God, the blood bought child of God, children of God. I'm glad I've, I've believed the report. Amen. If you believed it today, my dear friend, you're saved by it. That Christ came and died and rose again, and He's coming back to them Amen. that are looking for Him. The Bible said, "Shall He appear the second time without sin unto salvation?" That's the gospel. The death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. No. We're thankful today that Sister Brooke has believed the report. And we've talked to her and we've consulted with her on more than one occasion to make sure she understands. She understands what baptism means, and she just she told me all about it right over there just about five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful Amen. for these young children. Mm -hmm. I believe God's able to save. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, I believe God's able to save. I'm glad He saved me. Yeah. Yep. No wretched, miracle sinner. Unworthy. Unworthy, but He showed me His grace. I wouldn't worth the powder it would take to blow my brains out. But God, in His matchless grace, saved me. I just want to tell everybody I can how much He loves me. How much I love Him. And I believe this word right here. God, God has laid this thing out. And God set in order how the church needs to be about the Father's business today. Preach the gospel. Baptize people that believe. 
And that's what we're getting ready to do right now. We're going to baptize this young lady right here in just a moment. We're going to baptize her just like Jesus said in Matthew chapter 28. We're going to baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Understanding, and this is what I want everybody to understand. The book of Colossians says, Let everything you do in word or deed be done in the name of Jesus Christ. So this baptism will be in the name of Jesus Christ today. And so should everything we do yes. in word and in deed. Mm -hmm. Do it in the name of Jesus Christ. You'll find that in the book of Colossians. Yes. Understanding now that Peter, when he spoke in Acts 2.38, the name, the anoma, is the authority of Christ. The authority that Christ gave. What authority did he give? Well, we understand that the keys of the kingdom weren't given to Peter alone, but they were given to every disciple. We'll read that about two chapters later. Jesus said, to go into all the world and to teach and yes. to baptize in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I bless His name. Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord, we love you today. I thank you, God, for every soul that's here. I thank you, God, for the good spirit of God that we, we feel down by this riverside, mm -hmm. Lord. Lord, and I thank you for Miss Brooke, who's come to be baptized today and to, uh, and to follow Jesus. I pray that you'll bless her life and help her and give her strength and grace to stand in this world that we're living in today. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We lift up your name today. We give you praise in all things. For you alone are worthy. And we love you and thank you so much. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 You sing us a song. A little bit more, please. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear. And Ms. Brooke says she loves the Lord today, and I'm thankful for her. I just appreciate this blessed opportunity. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your blessings. Pray God for good, Lord. We thank you for her profession. And Lord, we ask that you bless her life and use her greatly for your glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, can we go in the water? Upon the profession of her faith and in obedience to the divine command of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Can we go in the water? Can we go in the water? We rise up to walk in newness of life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how I love Jesus. He did it all for me. Thank you, Jesus. When I step just inside Thank you, all Lord. those gates of pearl and the Master's face I'll see, I'll gladly kneel at His nail-scarred feet. Oh, praise the Lord, He did it all for me. He did it all for me. Praise the Lord. Each drop of blood He shed for even me. When the Savior cried, bowed His head and died. Oh, praise the Lord. He did it all. 